Hey guys, welcome back to SG Toys. So you're probably wondering why am I in this weird costume or suit and where am I? Well, I'm at our farm and um, I'm in the apiary. And one thing you may not know about me is I raise bees. So I'm a beekeeper. And today I'm going to be showing you um, like beekeeping stuff. And you're probably wondering who's from the title of this video, do bee, is honey bee vomit? Well, I'll answer that at the end of the video. Now don't forget to like and subscribe. And now let's get started. So here is one of our hives and you can see it's, so it's summer and you can see they, there are a lot of bees right there because they want to stay cool outside so it doesn't get like too hot inside. So right here is what we call the brood box. And you're probably wondering, what's this little like thing right here? Well, that is to separate the queen from the honey supers, which are these two things. And sorry about the smoke. We have something, we have like our smoke over there and the smoke calms the bees down so we can work, so we can like work there and it's a lot easier. So that's why there's a bunch of smoke coming here and it's all safe, we're not breaking any rules or anything. And yeah, so I think this is pretty cool. And if you're wondering why there are a bunch of like colorful hives, well, I like to paint them and you have to paint them light colors so it doesn't get too hot in the summer. And the queen is down here laying eggs. Fun fact, all these bees here are girls and she's as big as like the male bees. And she is super big because she lays eggs, so, like thousands of eggs. So she's super, super big. She doesn't leave the hive because she knows it's like her job to just keep laying eggs. So she doesn't leave the hive. And yeah, now we're gonna do some business and get some honey today. So let's get started. Okay, so um, if you're wondering why I like the screen or visor on me, that's because uh, they don't want us like looking in their hive, but uh, we do. And it's not gonna, like hurting them or anything, but uh, we, it's just to protect ourselves, you know, not to get stung in the face. And that would be really not good. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is a frame that is not ready. You can see it's still not capped and we don't want to take the honey that's not capped because then it could ooze or spoil. And fun fact, honey is the only food on earth that can last forever. So they found some in the Pharaoh's tomb and um, you could still eat that. Even if it was like from five billion years ago, you could still eat that. So that's a cool fact. Okay, so since this isn't ready, we're gonna just put this back. So one cool thing is, um, if you're wondering why it took me like a little struggle to get it in, I um, actually stick this, these like honey supers in with something called propolis. And it's basic, it's similar to wax. And you can see one bee is like right there. And they just kind of hang out here. And whenever we're going in, they always just like kind of, kind of like hide down there. You can see a few are coming up. But most are you usually just see at work here or just kind of roaming around here. Sometimes they make like little stuff like this wax. Um, so yeah, that's why sometimes when you pull the lid off, it's hard because they, they took their propolis and um, like stuck the lid to this. So we have to like try to like pry it open and we actually have tools to help us. And one of the, uh, those, and one of those tools is this. So what you do is so see this one, I can't get up with my finger. So what you would do is just stick this here, pry the, pry the propolis to be really careful and pick it up. These things weigh a ton. So this is another uncapped one. So you can see the bees are working on it here. A bunch, a bunch of bees. I'd say there are about like 100 bees per one of these, probably more, like 150. There are like thousands and thousands in the hive. Okay, so this is one of our bigger hives. They're really big and you can tell this one is full of honey because it's all capped and we're going to take this one today and extract it. And don't worry, they won't miss this one. They have plenty others and they'll have plenty of food. We're not like starving them or anything. Yeah, so here it is. 
So this, you can tell they are a big hive because we have two honey supers and one brood box. And B, um, they have really glued this down. I mean, like we both had to like try to pry the lid open. Like me and my dad had to pry the lid open and try to like pry one of the frames out. <laughs> it was really hard. And yeah, and um, C, there's just a lot of bees. And as you saw before, this is the one I was um, around when I did the intro and there are a bunch of bees out front. So they are quite a big hive. Okay, so now we're going, so how are we gonna get like the honey, the bees out of the honey supers to get the honey from them? Mm -hmm. and so is well, like what we're gonna do is we have this thing called Honey Be Gone and don't worry, we're not hurting or killing any of the bees. Um, this is just, it smells like almonds and they don't like it so they get out of the hive and, um, or at least get out of the honey supers. And I'm gonna spray this board with this stuff and then put it over it so this is like a top. Then put it over it and then they'll all like, just like flush out of it and I'll just like flush all the bees out and yeah. So let's spray. So now we're gonna put this on top. Watch out, bees. So we wanna make sure to cover every little inch. So I'm just making sure. And yeah, they can't escape now, so. I know that sounds like really like they can't escape now, but no. <laughs> now we're just gonna wait a few minutes and let this stuff do its work. While we're waiting, I picked up a little friend on my hand. I'm gonna name him Joe. No, it's a girl, so I'm gonna name her B. A very clever name, a very original name. Um, <laughs> so uh, I'm just gonna let this be like crawl on me. Anyway, so basically uh, while we're waiting, don't forget to stay tuned for the big question of the day answered. Oh, you're still there. Um, okay, bye. <laughs> Is honey bee vomit. Now that's a very interesting uh, question and, it's, and it has an even more interesting answer. Answer. So uh, stay tuned for that. Time to take a peek. Okay guys, look. They do not like that smell so they're completely gone. Now nothing left to do but put this in our truck. So we've got the honey super and in next, uh, so in the next video we're going to show you how we extract the honey. So stay tuned for that, and don't forget to like and subscribe. But you're all probably like, wait, 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 wait. We need to know if honey is bee vomit. So the answer to that is, drum roll please. Kinda. So the answer is kind of, because bees have two stomachs. One for their food and one for the honey. So they do like, dot, like so they do puke it up, but it's not mixed with their food. So don't worry. Ish. Anyway, if that grosses you out, sorry, it might have ruined honey for you. But if it doesn't, it's a cool fact. So I hope you guys like and subscribe, and I hope I see you very, very soon. <laughs>